Hello everybody out there in YouTube and welcome back to how to build a GB uh, not today and this is for all the Bob fans and for Bob out there BAM I told y'all when I got back I was gonna get this fuselage top knocked off so uh, right before I left uh, beginning of last week I waxed that whole thing like I said I was gonna do after the other video y'all kind of motivated me too even though y'all didn't really have to do much motivating. So, uh, waxed it, got home about two o'clock this morning, sprayed it with the PVA, went to bed, woke up at eight o'clock, and that first coat of uh, surface resins on there, and it is now, well, four o'clock Eastern time. <laughs> so you're probably wondering what was going on between eight o'clock in the morning and four o'clock Eastern. Eh, not a whole lot, I was being lazy to be honest. But, um, First coat of resin's done. Once that's done, I'm gonna put the second coat on. And uh, we will be putting some fiberglass down on that fuselage top today. And I'm going to get the top part that you see molded tonight. Even if I'm up till four o'clock in the morning, it's gonna get done. <laughs> Told you guys, first in flight jet rally, May 24th to 27th in Wilson, North Carolina. If I'm there, and that 14 is going to be there. Not flying, but it will be there. I promise you that. Um, even if, if I don't have an F-14 done, I'm probably not going to go. Just because I'm going to get a lot of, a lot of flack from everybody for uh, not meeting my goal. But uh, I'm going to try my damnedest to get it done. So, um, as you can see, like I said, first coat of surfacing resin all on there. Uh, that thing, man, it took... Oh, let's see. It took... Uh, 450 gram cups of resin so it's at 600 grams and then another 100 grams so it's 700 grams of resin for one layer and uh, I mean it's probably right at a quarter of a gallon I guess somewhere around there it's, it's a lot of resin for that little area and um, again I gotta do it a second time and then I gotta start laying fiberglass cloth down but uh, there we go told you guys I promised you I was gonna do it I'm doing it so, um, hopefully, cured tomorrow, yank all the parting planes off, throw that stuff in the garbage, flip it over, and we're going to get the bottom of the shoe sludge done as quick as we possibly can, and uh, keep on molding, keep this action going. Maybe if uh, the wife stays out of town, she left today to go visit her family. Hate to see her go, but it's also kind of a bittersweet thing, because I get to do this stuff more often and for longer. But uh, she stays gone for a while. I might actually get this whole thing done by the end of March. Eh, I got like, what, two weeks left? Eh, you never know. It might happen. And it's been extremely warm here lately. It's like 75 degrees a day. It's been 75 for the past week. It's supposed to be 70 something on all next week, too. So if it stays warm, eh, I might have to play a couple half days at work and play hooky the other time and come get this thing done. Never know. I might have a fuselage by the end of April. That'd be even better. Because then I could get some... Uh, get some other parts like some horizontal stabs or vertical fins and all that stuff done so um fuselage that's where it's at gb it's going on the back burner for a while it's uh no longer become a priority because my cell my fuck wolf fell through for some unforeseen circumstances but hey whatever vacuum pump system i gotta finish hooking up the little all the hoses over there for the vacuum bags and get the manifold hooked up I'm going to make a trip to Home Depot probably tomorrow to do that. Probably go do some uh, flying tomorrow. You never know. Can't remember Can't remember if I showed you guys the, uh, the vacuum bag fittings that I got from Joe Woodworker or not. But uh, these things are pretty, pretty nifty. They are the cheapest that I've seen that are metal for the price of them. I think I showed them to you before, but for those who didn't see that video or who just don't remember <laughs> like I don't basically big large area washer a little machine piece as you see it's got some threads there I guess it's two neoprene washer rubber washer foam rubber washer I don't know two more washers I think one's a yeah one's just kind of like a a cup washer a taper washer or something then a nut and then if I can find the fitting there it is This little doodad 
It's just a little quick release. Unfortunately, it doesn't have a check valve. It'd be nice if it did, because then you wouldn't have to worry about it leaking. But uh, just in, I think this quarter NPT uh, female pipe threads, and then this little doodad here. When you go to put it on, you just push it, push down, let go, and off it comes. Get ready, take it off, hit it, done. So these will work out really well for uh, horizontal stabs, tails, wings, all that good stuff. Like I said, fuselage getting vacuum infusion. Wings probably will too. Flaps I probably do as well, vacuum infusion, just to uh, make my life easier. Because that's going to be a lot of stuff to do with one person and one layup. So that's where we're at. Saturday, March 17th at 4.18 p.m. When I get some fiberglass laid down, I'll get another video up and show you guys what's going on. I might even do a time lapse thing where I just like speed this thing up like 15 times or something and do the whole thing. Sped up extreme with much so y'all can watch the whole process. Yeah, you never know. We might do it, might not. We'll see. Anyways, till next time, see you in the shop with the F14 Tomcat.